Hey folks, my name is Brian and I'm with Lucky Bastard Custom Boots and what we do is we build and sell custom boots, shoes, and belts. I would encourage you to check us out at luckybastardcustomboots.com. Now today what I'm going to discuss is our complete rebuild and refurbishment service for a pair of our custom boots. Now full disclosure. I have shot some before footage of this boot to make this video and I have magically managed to delete it. So I'm going to update this entire video later, but I have what I believe to be a direct equivalent of these boots right here. And the reason I know that is that both of these pairs are mine. They're both made of the same leather. They are virtually identical. They are two different colors. They've both been worn for just about the same amount of time, so I think you'll get a really good idea of a before and after shot uh, later as we unbox this pair of boots here. Now let's talk for a minute about the differences between a resole and a refurbishment. You can resole your boots at just about any local repair shop. These both of these pairs have been resold two or three times here in store. Uh, any shop can do it, whether it be a half sole or a full sole. But for the refurbishment process, we do send these back to El Paso. It is a little more expensive and it does take several weeks. Now, you're gonna see in a minute though, the difference between a resole and a rebuild. It's very extensive and I think you're gonna find that it's well worth the money. Now I want to show you the condition of these boots and really go over in a little bit of detail some of the components and what goes into a complete rebuild. Now you can see these boots are pretty well worn, I'm developing a hole right there. You can see how thin it is as you compare the welt to the sole. Right here, you can see it's just about eating into the welt itself. Overall, very worn out. Definitely ready for new heels. You can see the rubber heel cap is just about gone at the corner. Same thing, of course, on this other boot, very worn. You can see, in fact, that the welt stitch has been completely walked off and I'm starting to get some separation right here between the welt and the sole. So, what's going to happen with the rebuild? Well, obviously you're going to get a new set of soles. A very good quality leather. But more importantly, you're going to get a new insole. And a lot of people think that an insole is an insert that gives you comfort when you wear the boot. An insole is actually what you are standing on. This is the footbed of the boot. It is not removable. It will be removed during the rebuild. Now this is kind of a cool little dissection uh, of what an insole looks like. You can see where it's been channeled here. I've kind of left a lot of that welt thread on. So basically, you are going to be attaching your welt, which is going to be brand new. We completely replace all of the welt in your boot. And you're basically, your welt attaches, if I can do this, to the underside here. Your welt thread goes through the channel, through the welt, and through the upper itself. This is an internal stitch that you do not see on a cowboy boot unless you were to tear it down to the level that we tear it down to. So again, you're going to get a new outsole, a new insole. You are going to get new shanks, new all-steel shanks. 
You're gonna get a new shank cover. You're going to get a new leather filler, um, and that leather filler will be uh, basically in between the insole and the outsole. You are going to get a newly wood pegged shank. Not nails, wood pegs. Now, of course, you're going to get a new heel cap. Now, we'll just talk for a second about that. A lot of people, when they think about getting a new heel in a cowboy boot, they assume that this is the heel. In fact, this is the base. This rubber part here is your heel. When you get new heels done at the shop, this is the part that gets replaced, generally speaking. To replace the base is a, quite a bit more work, but when we send these out for refurbishment, you do indeed get a brand new heel base and heel cap. Now we are also going to recondition and restore the leather, kind of bring it back to life, nourish it, and it'll really bring a lot of that original color back into the boot. The other thing that we do, which is nice, is when we do this rebuild, we are going to relast this boot on your last. So you're gonna get some of that original shaping back in there. Now, don't worry, these do fit true once you get them back. Okay, folks, the big moment is here. Let's unbox these boots and see how they turned out. wrapping and cardboard goes into a pair of boots don't need that anymore there you have it get a little closer in for the camera turn it over brand new sole brand new welt brand new heel base fully wood peg new steel shank beautifully reconditioned leather I mean they just almost look like a new boot at this point do kind of a kind of a rough comparison of these two boots. Look at those bottoms. Just so nice to see. It's always very satisfying when these rebuilds come back and the customer comes in to pick them up and they're just typically over the moon. Hey folks, that's gonna do it for this video. If you will, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you need more information on getting a pair of your own custom boots, shoes, or belts, again, please check us out at luckybastardcustomboots.com.